If you believe this, I want you guys to put in the comments, I believe. Because the Knight of Swords chases. You know, this is telling me you guys are, there's a consumption here. You know, there's, there's are, are more so consuming. You know, your thoughts are consuming you. Your beliefs are consuming you. But this is you chasing after something or someone. This is your challenge. And if something is meant for you, it is for you. There is no need for you to chase after this. But this is showing me that you're in this position here. You're in this posture right now and you're chasing. But if something is for you, it is for you. There is no need for you to chase after it. Spirit is saying everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God. And your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack. Hi guys, welcome, welcome to Rapturous House. I do hope you guys are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see what's the energy surrounding you guys, what's currently going on with my Virgos, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages. But also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you guys would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call in the Holy Spirit. I call in the white light that guides us. I call in the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's get started. I do want to send a special shout out, guys, to all my members. Thank you, guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you, guys, for joining me. For all my subscribers, guys, both old and new, thank you, guys. Thank you for joining me. You guys are so loved and you're so appreciated. All right, let's get started. Let's see. So we have possibilities and potential. Baboo the fool. Wow, this is talking about brand new. Like this is the scales. There's a leveling, there's a leveling up here. You know, this is the fool card. See that? The number zero. This is the fool card here. This is like clearing the roster. This is an opportunity of starting things all over again, starting from a clean slate. So your overall energy right now, present moment, is having the opportunity for a clean slate, having the opportunity to, to start to do it all over again, to start brand new. You know, it's like the sky is the limit. There's unlimited potential here. Because when the fool shows up, this is telling me like there's a cycle of your life that has closed out. You have put things to rest, put things to bed. You have ended certain things. You have fulfilled certain things. You know, there, you've, you've been on this journey to get to this point. And this is telling me you're ready to take a leap of faith. You're ready to forge forward here. And look at, look how happy he is just ready to forge forward, ready to take the risk, ready to take that leap of faith here. So it says, Babu the Fool, possibilities and potential. I feel like the possibilities and the potential are unlimited. There's a vast, there's a vast amount of possibilities and potential here. All right, let's get into this. Bottom of the deck, we have Root of Air. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This, this is the root, the root of your thoughts, your mind, your intellect, your knowledge, your actions. The root cause is talks, it talks about exploring, exploring your thoughts. Why, 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 are, why do you feel some type of way? Because I feel like it's your head and your heart. There's something here about 
what has influenced I feel like spirit is wanting you guys to kind of explore that what has influenced your beliefs your thoughts your actions there's a need of a review here you see the two swords you see the two people here they're ready for battle but you know this is showing me them standing forging together forging together here such a beautiful energy the number 33 could be very significant but it's like the root cause you know what i just instantly got like you may be a sibling like you may have siblings here i'm, I'm speaking to someone here where your upbringing was different you may have had some challenging upbringings and it's not just you you weren't alone in this in these challenges I'm getting sibling type of energy, but I'm also getting an energy here of the way that you handle certain things, the way the route that you've gone in life is separate from your sibling, the way that you handle things, whether it be tough or whether it be good, it's so different from your sibling because I'm getting an energy here of two people that somewhat forged like defending, defending each other, defending self forging forward but I feel like spirit is calling you guys to kind of explore how you got to where you're at right now present moment versus there's someone else here and the path that you guys have gone on you there's a separation on this path this journey may have started together but right now present moment I feel like there's a separation on this path between you and whoever this person is yeah all right my loves let's get into this Show me spirit. Show me what's currently going on. What's currently going on with my Virgos? Hmm. What's currently going on? The Emperor, Aries energy. You have a lot of responsibilities right now. You guys have a lot of responsibility. Some of you guys could be film directors or this is our directors here, you know, but the emperor is an authority. It's a divine masculine energy. This is a father figure. This is an uncle, an older, a big brother here. But this is also a divine masculine energy. The emperor is a boss. The emperor here leads leads the army this is telling me you guys are leaders but again i feel like this is not new to you i feel like whatever journey you're on right now present moment this is not new to you your this is telling me there's expertise and whatever journey that you're on right now present moment this is telling me you are an expert you're an S expert in dealing with certain things, but this is also showing me that you're a leader. You're not a follower. Yeah. Four of pentacles, four of pentacles talks about holding on, but you know, what? standing your ground. You know, this is almost like a, um, how do you say that? A sit in. That's what I'm visualizing. Like standing your ground, holding, like sitting, sitting firm, like a sitting, you know, um, I'm thinking of back in the day, like in the days where people would have sit-ins here to make a point, to get their point across to know. To, so others would know that they are unmovable, but that was their movement. Having a sit-in here, so this is showing me right now, present moment, this is this is kind of like an energy that's surrounding most of you guys, where it's like you are like standing strong on your beliefs, what you truly believe in. You know, are your decisions, your judgments and your decisions here. This is telling me you're standing on business right now, present moment. This is telling me you're, you're unwavery. There's a determination and an unwavery spirit that's somewhat surrounding you guys right now, present moment. Because that four of pentacles is telling me like, this is someone here that is holding on. And I feel like, you know, when it, when the pentacles come, there's an energy here of like the physical, 
It talks about your health, your finances, your work. It talks about your ego and your self-esteem as well. Your image, you know, your money, your material possessions and what you're trying to manifest into your life. And I feel like you guys are standing on that right now, present moment. Now, this could be regarding your, your prosperity, trying to build here. You're trying to build right now, present moment. Such a beautiful energy. But this is telling me you guys are standing on business right now, present moment as well. So let's see what's currently exiting. What's exiting my Virgo spirit? What's exiting? The Empress here. That's my divine feminine energy coming through. You're not playing. You're not playing at all. <laughs> like you're not playing at all. You see, this is stepping into your masculine energy. This is bossing up. Oh, so you know what this is showing me is that you're, you have reached a level of, gosh, this is such a level up. This is such a level up because this is telling me, you know, you're, this is you balancing, balancing your emotions, balancing your thoughts. You know, this is talk about, this talks about your power because, you know, when this energy comes through, it talks about all of the, this is like you taking up all of your energy, everything that you have. And there's a, there's a equal distribution here. So this is telling me you got some of you guys, you've mastered this. You've mastered skills, your mind, like the way that you think here, the Empress here, Taurus, Libra energy exiting you is a feminine energy, 11, 11 on the clock. You know, this loving and this nurturing energy. You know, this energy of you pouring into everybody and everything. I feel like you're, I feel like this part of you, you've embraced that Empress energy. The very loving, because the, the Empress is a mother figure. You know, the Empress is a divine feminine energy. The Empress is somebody here that is very creative, very bountiful. This is also telling me you guys are very good looking, you know, but the Empress is very bountiful. The, the Empress is very grounded, you know, very disciplined, but very, at the same time, the Empress is there for everybody. Like it's like there to shoulder everything and everyone. And while yes, you still have that all on your shoulder right now, present moment, I just feel like you're dealing with it so differently. Whereas at one point in time, you were, you were being of service. Now I feel like you're delegating. Now I feel like you are directing. Now I feel like you are in control. Whereas one point in time, things were controlling you, people, places, things, situations, they were controlling you. I feel like that is changing. I do. I feel like that is changing here. Hmm. Wow, that's such a such a beautiful energy. We have the lovers, Gemini energy. You know, this that was exiting you is a choice. Some of you guys, what's exiting you is a person. You're letting you're letting someone go. And the thing about it is, it is your divine counterpart, whoever this is. Some of you guys, what what's what you're letting go of is your divine counterpart, but not only that, it's your twin flame. Some of you guys, because you have the two divine energies and the lovers Gemini energy coming through some of you guys and you see you're forging forward here you're ready to take a leap of faith into the unknown and some of you guys what you're letting go of is your divine partner it is your twin flame what you're letting go of because that's what's exiting you you know someone here your parents may be separating hmm or there's a belief here, you know, you may have been raised in a two family household and all of a sudden mommy and daddy is not, mommy and daddy is deciding they're going their separate ways. 
that energy is for someone. It's not for everyone. What's influencing the emperor for my Virgos? King of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, but strong Capricorn energy coming through. So you guys, your work is what's influencing you right now. But this is also showing me that there's mature there's, there's maturation here. This is telling me you guys are in control. This is telling me you guys are very intelligent, very much so mature, very much so stable, you know, very hardworking. There's a grounded energy here that's coming through, you know, but it's also strong Capricorn energy that's coming through as well. Hmm. You know, your money right now, present moment is influencing you, your self-esteem, because the King of Pentacles they have a, the King of Pentacles has a really big ego. The emperor has a really big ego. Some of you guys, your ego is what's influencing you right now, present moment. What's influencing everything about the way that you're moving, the way that you're talking, the way that you're walking is your ego, you know, it's what you want. And some of you guys, you may have a point to prove here, but you know what? The emperor, with all honesty, the emperor, the empress and the King of Pentacles these are not individuals who actually have a point to prove. They've already proved their point. So I feel like that's kind of your overall energy. Like you don't have a point to prove. You've already proved your point here. You've already spoken your piece. You've already showed. It's like there's so much confidence in your energy right now, present moment. There is so much confidence. Ten of Cups. What's influencing you? Some of you guys, it's a relationship. Some of you guys, it's, it's your hunt. It's your hunt for a successful relationship. It's your hunt for your happily ever after, for your wish fulfillment. That's what's influencing you right now, present moment. While you may have so much, you may possess so much, you know, while you may have like right now, present moment, like it's showing me that you may have so much to be happy about or so much success here. What you're truly hunting for is wish fulfillment. Some of you guys, it is a relationship, but it is your happily ever after. See, I feel like that's what you're on a hunt. You're on a hunt for this right now, present moment. It's your happily ever after. Why? Because some of you guys, you've already worked and established yourself when it comes to materials, when it comes to possessions, when it comes to your physical You've already mastered that skill. Some of you guys, the challenge that you may have is a relationship here. Yeah. Show me spirit. Show me the current challenge for my Virgos. What's the current challenge? Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Don't it's it's it talks about saying talking too fast or talking too much, talking too fast, talking too much, acting too hasty right now, present moment is your challenge, you know, cause the knight of swords kind of forges forward. You know, also what I'm getting, you may be in, in the habit of defending <clears throat> certain people, whether you know, whether they're right or they're wrong, you may be in the habit of being because the knight of swords forges forward into battle no questions asked you know the knight of swords acts first and thinks later when really and truly the knight of swords should take a moment in time to think things through before forging forward but that's your current challenge right now present moment acting without thinking acting too fast acting too hasty you know because this is all about your actions here. You know, those, those, it's, and it, it's, the Knight of Swords comes, forges forward with so much power. And it's, it's a, it's taking all of your power because you, you just like, something has to change. But I'm also getting like, not knowing all the facts, not doing your due diligence. Some of you guys, your challenge right now, present moment is not doing your due diligence before speaking or before acting. Show me spirit. What's my Virgo's current strength? 
all of these cards came out. Beautiful energy, though. Hmm. What's my Virgo's current strength? Two of Cups. Love. Love. A partner, a soulmate, a friend. There's someone in your life that keeps you on the up and up. That's your strength right now. There's someone in your life that keeps you on the up and up. This could be a friend. This could be a partner. You know, this could be a soulmate. But there is someone in your life right now, present moment, that keeps you on the up and up. There's a check and balance here. There's someone here that balances you out. This is like having a soul sister, a soul brother here. You know, this is, this is a relationship here that you have with someone. This is your strength. They keep you on the up and up. They check you. There's a check and balance with this person, with this relationship. Yeah. And what's in my Virgo's hopes and fears? Judgment, Scorpio energy, your decisions. You do worry. You worry about your, you worry about making decisions you worry about what you know, what you know to be true. Or, or there's like a, is what is what I know real? Is it true? Because judgment here is showing me like, you know, this is this judgment comes through when there's an awakening here. When there's an aha moment, when there is an awareness and an ascension here, you know, judgment comes when there is a judgment. You know, some of you guys right now, present moment, you may be in the middle of a legal battle. You know, you may be in the middle of some type of civil suit or something of the sort. And you're, you know, you're, you're hoping for a just cause. But you also worry about the decision as well. The judge's decision. You know, some of you guys right now, present moment, because when judgment comes, it also talks about life changes. You know, second chances as well. So some of you guys in your hopes and your fears is that you're hoping for a second chance to right, to right or wrong. Or you're hoping for a second chance with someone here. You're hoping that you made the right choice, the right decisions, but you also fear it as well. You fear your decisions. This is telling me you're not... You lack the confidence. While you may be moving, you, you're making certain movements. And while you may be moving, you're, it's like a gliding energy right here. There's a part of you, and I feel like it has to do with a relationship. Or it has to do with love. It has to do with your emotions. It has to do with your intuitions. As I see 22, 22 on the clock. I feel like there's a, there's something here about your, it's like your, your challenge. I feel like this is not even in your, this is, this is in your hopes and fears, but I'm getting a challenge for you right now, present moment, because I feel like it's like you hoping that you're making the right decision, but you question it. You question it so much. Hmm. Show me outside of my Virgos, the high priestess, Pisces energy. There's someone outside of you that you seek guidance and clarity from. This is outside influences here. Some of you guys, you know what? You know what causes you so much confusion? And I know somebody's going to tell me something, but you know what causes you so much confusion? The world, bottom of the deck, outside of you. Is you may watch a whole lot of tarot videos. You may watch a whole lot of tarot readers. You know, this is telling me because, you know, with the high priestess here, 
this is telling me that that's a big part of your confusion. Whereas tarot is supposed to, it's, it's, it's a, it's a tactic. It's a, it's a tool to be used for confirmation. Yes. But also as a guiding light along with your intuitions. Because normally when you really and truly, you look at the cards and you're letting your, so, so we have outside of you, the high priestess, this is seeking. And it, even if it's not that, you know, the, the high priestess comes when you're seeking the truth here. So this is showing me that you guys spend a lot of time seeking the truth, seeking knowledge, meaning like you need to know, you want to know. You don't want to leave anything to chance. But you know what I feel? Some of you guys, the fact that you need to know all the time, that might be a little weak. That might be a weakness. I do. I feel like that might be a weakness for someone here. The fact that you need that you have to you, you have to be present and you have to you have to enjoy the journey. Like live life. Step out and live life. So this is a tool that is to be used for you to step out and live life here. You know, so right here, present moment, we're seeing that your challenge is this knight of swords. You know, you might be acting too hasty. Spirit is saying that. You may be like forging forward, defending, fighting, speaking, however this goes without thinking, you know? So we use that as a tool to, to kind of guide movement here. We come here to the two of cups here where this is in your strength of relationship. So this is something that you can be grateful for because it is a strength. It is serving a positive purpose in your life. So this is telling me that you guys have a partnership, a friendship, a relationship here. Sometimes you're not aware of it. So this is being used to, show, to, to make you aware of it, to enlighten you on this. It's not that you don't know. It just might be a feeling of taking something for granted or not actually taking a moment because you know it's there. This relationship, this friendship, this partnership, you know it exists in your life. But this is spirit show, showing attention to it for you to show attention to it. You see that? This is using, I don't know why I just got using what your mama has given you. You know, this is using what the universe is giving to you to benefit you so you can forge forward and go only into the light, only towards positive things. This is acknowledging, this is acknowledgement from the universe of your successes, of the changes that you've made, of the work that you've done and the work that you are doing. I truly believe this and I truly feel this. I feel like this is spirit acknowledging you. So when I ask what's currently going on, when I ask what is, what is exiting you, this is confirmation, but it's also acknowledgement from spirit. Letting you know that you're not alone and letting you know that the work and the progression that you've you, you, that you're undergoing right now, present moment is not in vain and it is not going unnoticed. You see, it is for you to know that all of that you're doing, everything that you're doing, it is not in vain and it is not, un, it is not going unnoticed. The universe is noticing all of the work that you're doing, you know, and this is also giving you confirmation that it's going to pay off for you. So this is showing me that this, this is, this right here is a means, it's a tool to help you live your best life. This is, I don't know why spirit is stopping me to actually say that to someone, but someone needs to hear that. This is to help and aid you to living your best life, your way, the way that you want to use your life. All right, my loves, let's get into this. So we have the world and we also have the queen of pentacles here. You know, the high priest is a very spiritual person. It also talks about your subconscious. You know, it also talks about things that's hidden from you that you want to know here. But we have the world. The world is when you have reached, this is telling me you have reached a point in your life. And we also have this queen of pentacles here. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. This is this is a this is this is the moment of truth. This is a very proud moment in time. 
this is your moment of truth, a very proud moment in time here. Because this is telling me like some of you guys, you've shown your strength. I don't know why I was about to say you've shown, you've shown your ass, but you've shown your strength here. And when I say that, no matter how I've said this, it's because you have been able to resist something that you may have felt at some point in time was unresistible. This is telling me like you have reached a point of like maturation. I don't know why I was about to say something else, but there's a point of totally mature. There's a point here in your life that you're not having to work as hard as you used to work. It's like put respect on my name, you know, and I feel like there's something here about outside forces, whereas there's people here, there is there is giving you your roses now. You see, you have reached a point, again, we get back to this energy, you don't have to prove yourself. You, your, you've, your work has spoken for itself. Your skills have spoken for itself. So this is showing me that outside of you, there is notice. There's notice and there's affirmation of all of your hard work. So now... This is forging forward, brand new. This is a clean slate here. This is a clean slate for you. Such a beautiful energy, such a beautiful energy. I love that for you guys. Yeah. So let's see, let's do some clarifying here. Show me this Knight of Swords. Show me this Knight of Swords. God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God. And your faith open, opens the doorway to receive. It says, in God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. If you believe this, I want you guys to put in the comments, I believe. Because the Knight of Swords chases. You know, this is telling me you guys are, there's a consumption here, you know, there's, there's are, are more so consuming, you know, your thoughts are consuming you, your beliefs are consuming you, but this is you chasing after something or someone. This is your challenge. And if something is meant for you, it is for you. There is no need for you to chase after this, but this is showing me that you're in this position here. You're in this posture right now and you're chasing. But if something is for you, it is for you. There is no need for you to chase after it. Spirit is saying everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God and your faith opens the doorway to receive. And God there is no lack or limitations. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. We're not going to take all that. Now, what's exiting you is the Empress. Show me the Empress for my Virgos. Show me the Empress. Wow. Okay. So we have several vows of poverty. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you, that you may have made. Whew, that can't, that incense is burning in my throat. Give me a sec. I had to get that out of my throat because it was I was about to not be able to talk. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Sorry about that. All right, so what's exiting you is the Empress. And I feel like this is like, you guys want to be, it's like wanting to be less lovey. Like, it's, I don't know why I was about to say less lovey-dovey um, and more, more stern, more in control. Also, it's like more demanding. There's a more demanding energy coming through right now, present moment as well. You know, this is like, I, it's almost like an energy here of giving off some tough love as well, because I feel like this is like saying, okay, I was this way, but this way just didn't work. There's something here about this way just didn't work. 
And now you have to be stronger or you have to be more stern or you have to be more in control. Some of you guys, you may feel like because you because you were in this empress energy, like people were walking all over you or you were giving so much of yourself to others. Yeah. Spirit is saying, dear one, there is no need to suffer or to sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial. I feel like it's don't deny, don't deny yourself from, from being the empress and the emperor. You are a divine being. I want you guys to put in the comments, I am a divine being. I want you guys to put that in the comments. I am a divine being because you are. I feel like you hold the empress and the emperor energy all within yourself because we both have masculine and we all have masculine and feminine energy in us. So you don't have to deny yourself. It says that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. You know, because I feel like you you guys may feel like you have to divide your energy, your compassion or how you handle certain things. But spirit is saying that you can show up however you want. You can show up just as your true self. And I feel like that's what spirit is telling you. Show up just as you are. This is like just like somebody telling you to show up at the house of the, of the Lord. You show up just as you are. And I feel like somebody here needs to hear this. Like spirit is saying, show up just as you are. And then we have re release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something. And the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If you can have it, if they can have it, so can you. If they can have it, so can you. Because you may feel like you have to be some type of way to be able to possess certain things or to get certain things. But Spirit is showing you that is not true. You can show up just as you are, as your true self. And you will receive the infinite sources just the same. The infinite power just the same. Just the same. Hmm. Let's see. Show me spirit. Show me the emperor. Show me the emperor for my Virgos. So we have declutter. You'll feel better and more focused if you'll take the time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. See, I feel like this is about you guys delegating. Stepping into this power. You may be holding everything close knit, close to your chest. You may feel like you have to handle everything. You have to oversee everything. You have to micromanage everything. Spirit is saying that is not how you need to be moving. Spirit is saying that's why you're in control. That's why you have the power to use that power. Use the power that you have been gifted. Because you guys are in a very powerful position here. You are. You're in a very powerful position. Hmm. Show me judgment for my Virgos. Show me judgment. That's in your hopes and fears. Show me judgment for my Virgos. Hmm. Abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have. 
in the present moment and that is what you will experience. Some of you guys, you're waiting on something. You're waiting on something and there's a lack of appreciation for what you already have. That's why you're experiencing certain delays. That's why you are experiencing certain delays here because you're, you're in a waiting mindset right now, present moment. And there's a feeling of you, you're not, there's a feeling of lacking abundance without whatever it is that you're waiting on. See that, that message is meant for someone. That message is meant for someone. Let's see, show me, show me this high priestess for my Virgos. Show me the high priestess for my Virgos. says partnership allow healthful supportive partnerships into your personal life and career and both parties benefit as as a result you are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources here you know and this is right on your high priestess here which is your outside influences here you know, this, this, this gives me a feeling of receiving what you need. But again, it also gives me a warning of enjoying the journey, being present in your life, using the tools to keep you in the light. Yes, to go towards positive. Yes, but as a guiding light, not as a. I got to do this. I got to feel this. I got to. It's like use your intuitions. You're being gifted with discernment. You're, you've been gifted with intuitions. And that's your true source of power. That's your partner. And that is your true source of power, the gift that the good Lord has given you. And that is your intuitions. And your spirit guides are wanting you to use those intuitions. Yeah. Show me this king of pentacles for my Virgos. Show me this king of pentacles because that's what's influencing a lot of this. It says sensitivity. You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly here. You know, I did feel that energy because you know what's influencing you is some of you guys, it's your work. Some of you guys, it's it's your responsibilities. You know, you're a husband, you're a wife, you have duties, you're head of household, you have children. And, and, and there's things here that is starting to bother you a whole lot more. And then we have books. You connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books here. I feel like Spirit is telling someone here, like you're looking for answers and the answers you need may just be in some reading. The answers you need, the answers that you seek may just be in a good book. Somebody here, your spirit is telling you just to have a seat. Have a seat and just read. I feel like it's calming. I feel like for somebody here, reading calms your mind. I feel like for someone here, reading calms your mind. But I'm also getting, if you're looking for some type of answer, it's like going back to where it all began. That message is meant for someone. It's going back to the drawing board, going back to where it all began. Some of you guys, it all began in school. Like remembering what you've already learned. It's like you may have read something in a good book, but it's remembering what you've already learned here. Show me this two of cups. It says leadership. Take charge of this situation here. And I feel like because this is also your strength here. And this is all about your leadership and you taking charge of a situation here with the relationship here. I feel like this is like once you've taken charge here, because you don't. Again, your spirit is, show, is telling you to show up as yourself. Yes. But is it's using what you have. In, in an appropriate way, in an appropriate setting. Some of you guys, you need to use your feminine energy in one setting and you need to use your masculine energy in another setting here because I feel like this is kind of like, there's almost like a misbreeding, a mixed breeding here. 
like using, yes, showing past your true self, using what you have, your gifts, your talents, your skills. But it's almost like a feeling of kind of reading the room. Some of you guys spirit is calling you to actually kind of like read the room here. Like and how you show up in one place may not be how you show up in a whole not in another place. Yeah, show me what I need to see for my Virgo spirit. It says the pearl, the reward at the end from grit to grace here. See, you you found the pearl or you're going to you're going to get the pearl here. As I see 44 44 in the clock. You see it says the reward at the end because you've reached the end here. And this goes from grit, grit and tenacity to grace, finding peace here. But I feel like it's about you kind of coming to terms, balancing yourself. You don't have to give up one part of yourself to live your life. It's, it's like, take me as I am, take me as a total package. It's like bringing your full self. I feel like that's where you're going. Because right now, present moment, some of you guys, you may be showing up divided. Like, I feel like, I feel, I feel this. Like some, some of you guys, like right now, present moment, you are showing up to work. You're showing up in a relationship. You're showing up for your family, your children, but you're showing up divided, not your total, not in totality, not your true, true self. Some of you guys, you're dimming your light because you're showing up divided. Hmm. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not. Until next time. Bye, guys.